Hello, I'm Mark Nicholson. I'd like to show you one of my favorite features in ZMAX 12 Release 2, the Visual Optimizer. A visual Optimizer gives you hands-on control of any variable, so you can adjust it by hand. You can use it to set up rough designs, starting points, visualize performance variation, look at sensitivity prior to tolerancing, and it's got many, many other uses. I'm going to show you just a few of them in this video. So let me show you this file, which is the very early stages of a design, and it is literally just a paraxial lens some distance from the stop. It's doing telecentric imaging, and I've got an MTF plot open, a relative illumination plot open, and the image simulation plot open. And because this is telecentric, it's equally bright anywhere in the field of view, and you can see that very easily in the image simulation window. You'll see that I've made the distance from the stop to the lens a variable, and I've made the back focal distance a variable as well. And if I just do Tools, Design, Visual Optimization, ZMAX picks up whatever I've defined to be a variable and gives me this, this slider control over it. And you can use what ZMAX defines as minimum and maximum ranges, or you can just define your own. So if I vary this thickness uh, on the from the stop to the uh, uh, lens, then you can see how the relative illumination drops off dramatically. You can see how the image simulation shows darkening at the edges of the field of view very, very rapidly. Uh, and this is real live, uh, real-time control of, of the design that lets you just sort of understand the design trade-offs that are involved in, 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 in your design. Also, if I take the slider control on back focal distance and start to back it off, you can see that the lens, of course, goes out of focus. There's no great surprise uh, there. But you can also see some really kind of nice, neat things. So let me just change this to show you the spoke pattern. And I zoom in on the spoke pattern. And because we are here, Right in uh, focus, we've got good MTF. We can see nice uh, lines. These spokes are all well resolved. Let me just defocus this lens such that we've now got secondary maxima here in the FFT MTF plot. Because we have secondary maxima, you can see here that we're losing contrast. And this can all be shown real time very, very easily uh, as a direct feature within ZMAX, so it's a very, very powerful capability. Next, let me show you this, which is a design that we've optimized. It's given me good MTF, good ray fan, good spots. And what I want to see is what happens if I decenter this element. And so I'm just going to click on surfaces three and four. I'm going to do tools, modify, tilt decenter elements. And I'm, going, I'm not going to set any values in there. I'm just going to click OK. ZMAX builds the coordinate breaks for me that do the tip, tipping and tilting of this uh, uh, element and also do the return uh, afterwards. And if I just scroll along here to the decenter in Y and make that a variable, tilt about X, make that a variable, and then do Tools, Design, Visual Optimizer, up comes the surface 3 decenter y, surface 3 tilt of our x, and I've got some default values that I think I can live with. Uh, and if I just choose to decenter that lens, you can see the lens moving, and you can also see the MTF updating automatically as we slide it around. Uh, if I tilt it around x, I might just increase that to maybe minus 2 degrees plus two degrees, just so that you can see it on the layout plots more easily. But I can tilt that lens around, and you can see the plots all updating as we do that as well. So that's just a quick overview of the Visual Optimizer. Use it to set up rough designs, uh, visualize performance variations, study sensitivity. And it has a whole bunch of other uh, uses. It's available in the sequential part of ZMAX and in the non-sequential part of ZMAX. And it works in uh, ZMAX SE, EE and IE.